Hey Lurkin Army, welcome to this week's news update video for Destiny 2. The moment we've all been waiting for has arrived. On Tuesday the season began and now the weekend is here. Trials of Osiris is upon us and it's all we've wanted. Minus the hard life. So let's begin on the PvE side of life. A new threat has come with the Cabal sending the Almighty down in a free fall to destroy the last city. Rasputin has chose to help with allowing us to access his secret bunkers located across our solar system. With this, we get to access new locations and activities. We start off by gaining access to the Seraph Towers, which we must clear the Fallen out and then upgrade to help empower it to destroy the threat in the skies. The objective here is once you gain access to the bunker and clear out the enemies for the day, you have to upgrade the rank of the bunker by turning in chipsets. To earn chipsets, you have to farm the new public activities, Seraph Towers, and new legendary law sectors, which in turn allow you to earn bits and they are used to buy upgrades and chipset bundles. Legendary Law Sectors are pretty straightforward, clear out the champions and regular enemies and pop both the chests at the end for the rewards. Difficulty is recommended 1000 so be prepared. For the Seraph Tower activities, you'll be required to travel to EDZ, IO, or the Moon locations to start the activity. In this activity, you must protect and power up the towers by throwing energy cores at the glowing core between the towers. Once the glowing core reaches the center, you will move over to the next tower and rinse and repeat. This feels just like forges, but more of a protection aspect. You must keep the plates clear of enemies in order to spawn energy cores, and you have to do it fast. If done properly, you'll get two chests at the end that you can loot and get war mine bits, armor weapons, and encrypted bits to upgrade the bunker. So from the first glance, our PVE activities are pretty light in the beginning of the season. We have access to three public event areas, again, IO, EDZ, and the moon. This time, the farm is more simple, but slightly harder due to enemy types in the activities. Champion mobs are more potent. With the addition of the new Fallen Champions, Overload Captains, and Barrier Servitors, they bring new, a new level of difficulty to the activities as seen in my gameplay. Over on the PvP side of life, we have the return of Trials of Osiris. I dipped my foot into the water for the first time ever. I've played Destiny 1 and never had the opportunity to participate in Trials. But I did get to watch as my favorite content creators either live streamed or posted YouTube clips of their clutch moments and gameplay. I've always been amazed at the level of skill it took and hope one day to join them. Now I get that chance and on PC. Browser's return with Saint 14 watching over it and passing judgment. The rules are simple, light enabled PVP with the goal of winning seven games in a row, AKA flawless. They've done away with the boons and instead have multiple ticket types with different reward systems and benefits. Saint 14 offers weekly slash daily bailings and five versions of the trials tickets. Passage of Mercy forgives one loss. Passage of Ferocity requires three wins and gives you a free win if you are flawless on your third win. Passage of Wealth requires five wins and gives you an extra token. It gives you extra tokens when you complete matches and win matches. Passage of Wisdom requires you to win seven matches to gain access to it and grants bonus XP, but scales with the amount of wins you have on your ticket. Passage of Confidence requires at least one flawless to access and grants bonus rewards when you open the flawless chest at the lighthouse. You earn tokens for completing and winning matches, which you turn into Saint 14 for weapons and armor. From what I've heard on Twitter, um, the loot pool is on a ro weekly rotation. If anybody knows this rotation, please leave it in the comment section below. My first trials experience ever, and I have to say, I can completely understand the hype and enjoyment behind it. Most of you know I'm not a big PvP person, but I can hang with the sweats if I need to. I do see myself playing more trials in the future, and I'm so happy that the PvP community now has a dedicated pinnacle activity to enjoy. Now with all the exciting stuff out of the way, patch notes. Tuesday update 2.8.0 was released and we get more detailed information about all changes brought into the season of the worthy. I'm only gonna go over things not mentioned in the previous twabs as this is this list is uh, pretty much the same from the last couple of weeks. So uh, head over to bungie.net if you wanna get the full decked out patch notes. Um, for now, I'm just gonna go over a few things. Devil's Ruin, the bug that allowed Pyrogenesis to proc in the wrong situations, has been fixed. And Symmetry, uh, a bug that caused the weapon to either randomly stop firing and damage teammates, has been fixed. Uh, emblems have gotten a, a new look and change. You can now add trackers to any emblem you want, 
any form of a tracker that you want you can equip them to whatever uh, emblem you have so go check that out and that's it for the week i hope everyone is having fun and enjoying the new grind and new activities good luck to all the pvp homies on, on trying to get flawless i'll see you at the lighthouse if i ever get there myself uh, and that's going to wrap it up for me. If you want to read the TWAB in full, I highly suggest you head over to Bungie.net and check out their social media as well. As always, I appreciate you all taking the time to check out this video. If you want to catch me live, head over to twitch.tv slash silenceswaffles, where I stream Sundays through Wednesdays, 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern, and Thursdays, 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter as well. The links will be in the descriptions below. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video and all the other videos on my YouTube channel. Um, and we upload once a week and like always, thanks for watching.